Okay, so we've got some new uh, 3i Atlas updates. Um, it has a glow in front of it and there's evidence that it's actually uh, slowing down. And just like a day ago, it turned green for, for some reason. We're also gonna talk about um, how interstellar objects um, coincide with big um, solar storms. But before we get into that, uh, welcome back and thank you very much for helping get this channel off the ground. And as always, I'd love to hear your input and ideas in the comments. So where is 3i Atlas? It's just passing Mars right now. Um, and then it's, it's heading towards the sun and then it'll become uh, unobservable um, from Earth because of the sun's glare. But a few days ago, it appeared to have a glow at the front of it, like if it had headlights. It also turned green and, and nobody can explain this, like that they have no explanation of, of why it's actually turned green. And there's also evidence that it's actually slowing down, but this is what we're going to get into. 3 i Atlas um, was discovered in July, but astronomers actually had images of it back in May without realizing it. And here's the crazy part. Between May and June, its brightness jumped fivefold, way more than sunlight alone could explain at that distance. Normally, a comet that far out should barely be active, but this thing lit up as if it was getting a lot closer, a lot faster than our models predicted. That suggests it may have been breaking or adjusting speed as it entered the solar system. Even stranger, its trajectory has stayed absolutely rock steady despite visible outgassing, which should be nudging it around. And then there's the spectrographic data. They found pure nickel in the coma, no iron at all. That's unheard of in a natural comet, but exactly what you would expect from erosion of high temperature nickel alloys. Like the stuff used for rocket engines. Put all of that together, the sudden brightening, the rock steady path, the nickel signature, and it starts to look less like a natural comet and more like something that's been deliberately slowing down under intelligent control. So now let's talk about um, how interstellar objects and massive um, solar storms are intertwined. I was checking out um, Stefan Burns's uh, channel and he explained quite well um, how these solar outbursts and how they're connected to, to comments. So I've put his link um, in the description for you, so check him out. So we've got quite a few visible um, comets in our solar system at the moment, but on September 26, a comet called SWAN suddenly flared up, a dramatic outburst that made it much brighter than expected, and it's still glowing strong days later. Then less than 48 hours after that, the sun unleashed its biggest solar flare in months. Two nova explosions elsewhere in our galaxy sent a wave of high energy X-rays and gamma rays sweeping through our solar system. So the sequence goes like this. Nova explosions, comet outburst, massive solar flare and CME. Almost like a chain reaction. Why does that matter? Because history shows a pattern. When Oumuamua, the first known interstellar object, passed through our solar system in 2017, its closest approach to the sun lined up with the two strongest solar flares of that entire solar cycle. Okay, so why is this important? So when 3i Atlas will be closest to the sun, it might be hit by a mega solar storm, like equivalent to a million atomic bombs. Imagine a solar superstorm blasting out billions of tons of plasma, a coronal mass ejection. Now, what if an advanced civilization could actually harness that energy? With giant magnetic sails or even clouds of nanomachines, they could catch the storm like a cosmic wind. That would give them enough power to slow down a massive craft, speed it up, or even hide their movements from us. It sounds crazy, but the sun is constantly throwing out free energy. The big question is, what if someone out there already knows how to use it? Join us tomorrow just for a quick episode. Um, uh, there's going to be pictures taken from the Mars orbiter. So thanks for watching and cheers.